A major Helium 5G related proof of coverage announcement was issued earlier this week. The news related to 5G data transfer progress, major partnership collaboration, a proprietary settlement service called Magma, and 5G proof of coverage progress and hardware updates. These updates are amazing to see and market participants acted accordingly, breaking the downward price momentum H&T was accumulating for weeks. The announcement is huge news, but to be fair, I think it only confirms what community community members had been assuming was being worked on rather than introducing entirely new information. Some members in the Discord seem to have felt the same way. Let's go through some of the major details and some of the remaining questions in today's video. <laughs> What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Very, very, very exciting video for you guys today. There's a major, major update here on the Helium ecosystem blog that was released earlier this week that relates to Helium 5G, data transfers, proof of coverage rewards, the Magma settlement service, and a few other things. We are going to go through all the details, what this means, any new information, Information and just some other information that might not be as new, but is basically confirmed via this blog post update. And as we can see, Helium responded, or I should say the price of HNT responded accordingly to this update. As you can see, we were really accelerating to the downside here, getting as low as the $12 level. And then we did have now three consecutive days of positive momentum here. Some nice green candles here on the screen after this absolutely brutal downtrend that just seemed to accelerate more recently down about 80 percent from the all-time highs at the lows here and if we see helium has moved up a few spots we were looking at a 53 and 54 rank by market cap just a few days ago when we were down at the 12 dollar level now approaching the top 50 coins by market cap once again which is good to see and i think the most interesting thing here to see is that helium according to the web3 index here was number five it is now number three ranked in terms of previous 30-day fees spent on the demand side here helium hnt reaching new all-time highs the week closing of april 30th incredible incredible progress the question is does this blog post update and some of the 5g proof of coverage updates have an impact on these demand fees we'll get into that later in the video but of course the 30-day trend here for helium is up 101 percent over the previous 30 days for demand side protocol fees. That is incredible, incredible news here. Really positive things. This is probably the most critical and fundamental piece of the Helium ecosystem right now. And so guys, to get into what is going on here, we're gonna touch on the major aspects of this update article. Very, very interesting and positive stuff. A lot of just reiteration of what we suspected was going on, but this kind of news is really, really good and confirms what a lot of people have been speculating was going on here with the no Nova Labs developers and the trajectory for the Helium network. Now in the beginning here, they do reiterate some of the major announcements that have been made over the past year since the original Helium 5G was approved. Of course, the DISH partnership as the first major carrier roaming on the Helium network and GigSky offering the first mobile plan. Those things, of course, are tremendous milestones for the Helium community. So they just wanted to reiterate that up there. Down below, they start with discussing the data transfer rewards. Now, of course, the community was expecting this to be in the works, of course, but now there is actually a timeline here or somewhat of a time reference scale. As we can see, they say the team at FreedomFi is currently working on technical implementation of data transfer rewards and anticipates it being ready by the end of Q2 of 2022. Now, more interesting than that, I think, is that down below, they say since then, the team has been hard at work, closely collaborating with operators like Dish Network to spec and build what's now a referred to as Magma Cellular Settlement Service. Now, I think that there are two things in this one sentence that are hugely, hugely important. And I think they are the two most important things that relate to this data transfer update. One being the close collaboration with operators like Dish Network. As we know, Dish Network up here uh, was the first major carrier agreed to roam on the Helium network. I think that seeing this type of collaboration with, with some partners of the Helium network is hugely, hugely important. This, of course, makes it very easy to see how some of the 
funding round investors and some of those companies and firms would also collaborate similarly with Helium to work on building out some of these other protocols. This type of collaboration is what we want to see. That's why some of the people that are investing investing in these funding rounds are so important to make sure that they have some sort of value that they can contribute to the Helium network. The synergies from these types of partnerships are invaluable and that is really what's super important to help accelerate the scale and growth of the Helium network. Secondly here, they mention Magma Cellular Settlement Service. Now this is a little bit more technical on the technical side of what is going on behind the scenes with regards to this 5G protocol, but they do a good job of explaining exactly what this is. And now of course, since Helium is doing this for the first time, this type of network for the first time, they are building this Magma Cellular Settlement Service from the ground up. So this is going to be a proprietary way of connecting the Helium network with the standardized process of roaming networks across the world. This is going to make it possible for third parties and market participants to plug into the Helium network and have it operate accordingly with the standardized process that has already been established. This is a huge milestone for Helium is going to be incredibly valuable for the community. This proposal here gets into a lot of the really nitty gritty details. Of course, this is far more technical than I can understand, but if you guys are interested, I will link this down below. As you can see, this is a very complicated process, and this is part of the reason why Helium needs partners that are involved in this space to help them build these types of infrastructures. Now, down below, they jump into the proof of coverage rewards. This is, of course, just as interesting as the data transfers and is likely to come a little bit sooner, and Amir did drop a teaser of this last week when he dropped the prototype image in the Discord, which I will put up here. We covered that last week. Really, really interesting stuff. But as we can see, the proof of coverage for the 5G network is underway and they are building some of these prototypes to give out to community members to start the proof of coverage process. Now, the one of the most interesting things with regards to this 5G proof of coverage is that the 5G proof of coverage actually leverages Helium's LoRaWAN network work to report the findings in real time, creating an extra validation layer as these nearby hotspots create a paper trail, helping to prove when and where the packet was transmitted. So that is super, super interesting to see how Helium's existing LoRaN network is actually being leveraged to help with 5G proof of coverage mapping. That is incredibly interesting and that raises the question if some of that data transfer is responsible for some of this major increase in demand side protocol fees. We will see what Helium's response to that is in just a bit, but let's get through some of the other things in this update. As you can see, they do reference some of the testing that they're doing. We can see this image here in the Bay Area with regards to some 5G proof of coverage. And the other very interesting thing here with regards to this coverage is that it is not only verifying Helium's 5G coverage, but it will also provide a real map of real 5G and LTE coverage across all carriers. Incredibly valuable, incredibly interesting work being done here from the Nova Labs developers here for the Helium 5G protocol. I am very, very excited for all of this. Now, of course, like I mentioned, we did know a lot of this was on in the works and was being worked on, but this is confirmation that this stuff, these prototypes, this proof of coverage is closer than we may have thought. And this does give us some timeline references to look forward to in the future. Now they do go into some off-chain oracles here down below. I'm not gonna go through some of this. I don't think it's as, as important or as critical or as interesting as some of the stuff up top, but I will link this down below in the description so you guys can come take a look, of course. Now guys, as I mentioned in the intro, I do think that that update was incredibly valuable and interesting. However, I don't, I don't think there was that much new information introduced. Of course, someone here does agree. He says, I saw and read the blog post, but it didn't really say too much. I mean, there was a lot of words, but and Capcom here, AKA Amir Halim, CEO of Nova Lab says, more concrete proof of coverage and token information is imminent. Then larger announcements related to network usage and data coming on more like a 30 to 60 day timeframe. So he explains that more information, more larger announcements are in the works, but I think that Helium really wanted to get that out there. One, just because of the timing with regards to the market, how brutal the crypto markets and asset markets have been. This is something to help maintain 
maintain a reasonable price for HNT and also confirm a lot of speculation and rumors that have been out there in the community, which I think is a very good thing. Now, immediately down below is even more interesting. Someone says, is the 5G proof of coverage testing lo causing Laura DC burn? And Amir responds, he says, yes, but a minuscule amount right now. Now, the reason that is such a good question is because in this article, they say it actually leverages Helium's LoRaN network. That is why this person is asking that, which is a very good question to get a better understanding of what's going on in this chart. And Amir confirms that yes, they are using some, but it is a minuscule amount right now. He said there are only a few devices out in the wild currently, and they are looking to get about 30 released to start testing. But he says it is a minuscule amount. So I don't think it would be contributing that much to this, which is a good thing because that means the rest of this is likely organic growth from the demand side on the Helium network. Guys, let me know your thoughts here. This is a major, major update confirming a lot of speculation and rumors that have been circulating. I'm very much looking forward to some of the upcoming uh, larger announcement that Amir references here. Let me know what you guys think down below. But as always, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching until the end. Any questions or comments you guys have, leave them down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Please hit that like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Helium and HNT news and analysis. But just like that, this video is over and I'll see you next time.